what's going on you guys so one of the things that I need to do on this just to get all my priorities in line is I need to go through and make a detailed list of all the stuff we still need to get for this car and I'm sure I'm gonna forget a bunch of stuff All right, we got a whiteboard here, so we're just gonna start writing down parts of the engine, or parts of the build, I should say. So engine, suspension, fuel system, drivetrain, electrical, stuff like that. And then we're gonna go through, kind of walk around the vehicle, figure out what we still need to get. electrical turbo system body should be good okay so let's start with the turbo kit what do we still need to get for the turbo kit we have all of our charge pipes ran the headers and actual manifold crossover pipe, all that stuff is done. Uh, we do need to build a turbo mount brace because the turbo is heavy. We need to get two wastegates. We need to build a downpipe and exhaust system. Other than that, everything else should be good for the turbo kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that stuff down real quick. All I'm thinking about it, part of the turbo kit, is the intercooler system. And we do need to wire the intercooler water pump and finish running line. So there is one other line we need to run for the cooler also. And it looks like we need to put a drain in the ice box as well, so I'm gonna add that to the list. Okay, another thing we need to do is go over the fuel system. Now, pump, filters, lines, regulator, all that stuff is done. We have rails. Uh, I do need to remake one line and I need to get injectors still. So let's put that on the list. Okay, up next, we're gonna go to the transmission. So things I need for the transmission, even though it is bolted on, there are some stuff, we, there is some stuff we need. Uh, we need to get flywheel bolts. We need to get a new bell housing because the one that I have on there is cracked. We need to get a starter, a drive shaft, and it looks like we need to get a shifter as well. That should cover everything we need for the drivetrain. Everything else is there and good to go. So we will add that to the list. Release bearing. Totally forgot I don't have a release bearing for this, so I'll need to add that to drivetrain as well. All right, the next thing we're gonna go over is the most important part to a drift car, and one of the least parts that I have touched, and that is the suspension. So we have the angle kit and everything done, the sway bar is done, but we still need to get front coilovers, camber plates, if the ones that come with the coilovers won't work, and then in the back of the car, we already did the subframe bushings and diff bushings, but we do need to get tow arms, camber arms, and vertical links. And if we really wanted to, the stock ones do have quite a bit of adjustment. We could probably get away with them for a minute, but those stock bushings suck. We want to switch everything over to spherical bearings, so we got to get all that stuff. Now I did add brakes and chassis to the list, and for brakes, Luckily, we do have a good set of Brembo's on here already. We already tackled the dual caliper setup, but we do need to make a master cylinder line in the car, and I do need to finalize the mounting system of the dual caliper. Right now, it's just uh, kind of threaded into the aluminum knuckle, which I don't like, so I think I'm gonna, I just need to put a couple nuts on the back of it, and that should be good, but I'm gonna put it on the list so I don't forget. Next on the list we're gonna do is chassis. 
So is there any more chassis work we need to finish on this car? We need to finalize the mounting up here for the front tube front of the, for the, uh, for the tube front of the car, which I've been waiting to do until I got coilovers because I want to make sure that the bracket design that I want to do up there will actually clear if we offset the coilover, but we have to finalize the tube front mounting at the strut tower and we have to finish the B-pillar gussets on the driver's side. Other than that, all the chassis work is pretty much good to go on the car. Yeah, so I lied. That isn't all that's good to go on the chassis side. Uh, while I'm editing this, I totally forgot. I still need to weld the cage in, and I still need to build a rear firewall for the car. And on top of that, chassis sidewise, I still need to add the electronic throttle pedal in there as well, which I think I forgot to mention. And there were a couple other things that have since this video has been made, have been added to the list. I just didn't want you guys to think I forgot that. Okay, let's go back in. The other thing we had on the list was electrical. Uh, after looking over the car, aside from adding like underbody lights and stuff like that, which isn't a priority at all, uh, it looks like the only thing we needed to wire in is the intercooler pump which I already put on the list under turbo system, but I added it under the electrical just so I don't forget about it and, you know, just so it's there. Other than that, everything else is wired in. All the switches work, pumps work, fans work, and electrical system should be good to go. Actually, now that I just got under here, I'm, I seen the electric steering rack, so I need to put the Cortex control module under electric, so I do need to buy the control module for this to control the steering rack. And lastly, the engine. What do I need to finish the engine? I made a list. I've been making a list on the engine for a while. So, camshafts, push rods, rod bearings, main bearings, head gaskets, ARP main studs, head studs, connecting rods, oil pump, crank bolt, oil cooler lines, manifold gaskets, and complete gasket set. Yeah. And an oil pressure sensor. Not to mention machine shop labor. Because getting all that stuff machined is not cheap. Luckily my heads are done though. That list kind of hurt my soul, uh, I'm not going to lie. And then lastly, we have the body, actual body work. We have wheels. We got a lot of wheels. We have like 16 of those wheels. They should look good, but we still need to get some other body work. This, something needs to happen with this, so possibly widen these or flare them. I'd hate to do wheel flares on this again, but you know, something with the front fenders needs to happen. Another thing, I have this roof scoop here, but it's not really the right size for it, so I need to make a new roof scoop because we're gonna need a lot of NACA ducting to get some airflow into the back for the radiator. Leads to the next one, NACA ducting. We need to get NACA ducts, so we'll need a NACA duct there, there, and on the roof, so at least three NACA ducts. I don't know if I wanna use that wing or not, I was either, either thinking about using that or possibly getting like a small, like almost Rocket Bunny-esque style wing putting on there or doing a factory GT350 style wing. I'll leave that one up to you guys. Comment down below. Let me know what, what you guys think I should put on it for a wing. Big Wang Gang, clean and subtle, GT350, you decide. What about the rear window here? Uh, and I wanna put louvers over it too. So, rear window louvers, that's gonna go on the list for bodywork. And then aside from all of that stuff, it is going to be paint the chassis and wrap it. So, put it on the list. And, oh, there we have it. 
pretty much the list of everything we need to get done on this car. So, engine, cam, rods, push rods, mains, rods, those are bearings, uh, ARP studs, cam bearings, head gaskets, engine gaskets, oil pump, crank pull, oil cooler lines, manifold gaskets, oil like pressure tuna here. Bullshit, asshole, no one likes to tune in here. Yeah, well, I do. Watch your we need starter, bell housing, drive shaft, shifter, flywheel bolts, and a release bearing. So, that's going to be expensive. Fuel system, injectors, change a feed line. So we have all the parts to make the feed line, we just need to modify it. Bodywork, front fenders, window louvers, rear wing, paint, wrap, hood scoop, nacodons. That should wrap up the body. Suspension, front coilovers, camber plates, rear tow arms, rear vertical links, and rear camber arms. Electrical system, wire the intercooler pump, uh, Cortex racing module for the steering box, and the throttle pedal still needs to be wired and remounted. I remembered that and put it on the list. Turbo system, two wastegates. Exhaust needs to be completely done. Mount, oh, a mount. Yeah, I need to put a support mount on the turbo. Uh, tank drain, intercooler hose, feed and return lines, and clamps for everything. Chassis, we need to do the B-pillar gussets on the driver's side and figure out the tube front, uh, the tube front mounting bolts to the strut tower, so we need to figure that out. Uh, worst comes to worst, I'll just weld the fuckers on and call it a day. Brakes, make a master cylinder line, and put nuts on the dual caliper brackets. I am really wondering if I'm gonna be able to get this done. That's a lot of money. So there you go, there's a list of everything I still need to do to this car until it's probably going to be ready for me to go through another list and cover all the shit that I missed. So yeah, that's going to be it for this one. So like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow the build along of this shit list, and uh... hey, maybe you want to see me get the car done, you can go over to ShaneWhaleyRacing.com and buy some merch. I can't, I just released these shirts, they're pretty sweet, I call them DK, it's a Donkey Kong drifting in S chassis, so yeah, buy that shirt, maybe buy a DTFSU America hoodie, yeah, support the channel, support the build, links in the description, I'll catch you guys later, I gotta go, I'm gonna go cry. Buckets!